today we are joined by Roisin, who works for BAE Systems. Thank you so much for joining us today. No problem. Thanks for having me. So can you tell us a bit about BAE Systems? Um, what do you do and what's a day in the life look like for you? Yeah, sure. So BAE Systems is a defence company that works in Australia. And so we've got quite a few different areas that we work in, land, sea and air. So I'm a grad for BAE Systems at the moment. So they do a two year graduate program that basically involves four six month rotations through different areas of the business, different projects. So at the moment I'm in my first year on my second rotation. So I work um, out of Tonsley, which is in the Hunter R&T, so the research and technology area of the business. Um, Hunter is the, um, the Hunter class frigate program, so the shipbuilding area. I've been working across a few different projects. So day in the life can be pretty varied depending on which project I'm on, where the project's at. So I'll give you an example. Yesterday I went into work and we were at the stage where we were doing some demos for one of the projects. So we had some people from the shipyard come down and we showed them some of the stuff we've been working on with robotic technologies in confined spaces. So we have this robotic dog essentially that we walk into confined spaces. It's got a camera on it, different payloads and things, a gas monitor, a um, bunch of different stuff. And we basically got feedback from people in the shipyard about whether or not they think it would be useful, how they think it could be used, all that kind of stuff. What? That sounds yeah. awesome. It's pretty fun. <laughs> that sounds so much fun. So um, what made you want to get into this in the first place? So I guess I studied mechatronic engineering and computer science at uni. That's my background. And when I was kind of looking for for graduate jobs and positions for when I finished uni. Um, I looked at a bunch of different companies, different programs, and I really liked the idea of a graduate program where I was going to be able to rotate around, see different projects, all that kind of stuff. And then BAE, I guess the scope of the company, the size of it also really attracted me to the company. There's a lot of different projects going on, a lot of different opportunities, and also a lot of job security, which is good. Oh, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Because BAE is um, an international business too, isn't it? Yeah, they are. So they've got offices. Well, they actually started out in the UK yeah. and then have since expanded into Australia. They've also got some offices in the US now, I think, as well. So yeah, yeah it is a global company. Yeah, which is awesome to be involved mm -hmm. with, for sure. Um, so what do you love most about it? I think at the moment, it's definitely the technology that I'm getting to work with, like robotic dogs, so much fun. It's like exactly the kind of thing you, you imagine you might be able to work with when you're at uni or at yeah. school. Yeah. Um, but there's a bunch of other stuff that I've gotten to work with as well, like 3D printers, laser etching, um, collaborative robots. So we have these robotic arms that we can program, all that kind of stuff, like AGDs, or autonomous kind of ground freaky. vehicles. <laughs> the same time. It is. I have to say, a lot of people are not a fan of Spot the Dog. It's a little bit, the first time he stands up, it's a little unnerving, but it's it's fun to work with. I can't believe you didn't bring Spot the Dog into this interview. <laughs> next time, next time. Okay. okay. <laughs> so take us back to high school. Um, mm -hmm. What did you study and what did you enjoy most about it? And did you think this is sort of where you'd be, you'd be headed? Like, is this what you always thought you'd be doing? Yeah, okay. So in high school, I I always really enjoyed maths and science. That was kind of my focus, but I actually studied pretty pretty wide range of things. I did English and French as well in year 12, so I had a bit of variety. Um, but yeah, I think from pretty, uh, maybe like year 10 or 11, I sort of picked engineering as something that I was interested in and wanted to pursue. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then I... I was a bit unsure where it was going to take me. Um, it took me quite a while to decide what area I wanted to go into, but I definitely enjoyed it at uni and, and knew that it was what I wanted to pursue, which is yeah. nice. Cool. So then why the naval shipbuilding industry? Because it's it's not typically something that you see a lot of young women in. Um, what made it sort of stand out? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Um, so I sort of... I guess I didn't specifically choose naval shipbuilding because BAE Systems does have, I guess, different projects as well. It's not exclusively naval shipbuilding. So, for example, my first rotation at the company 
wasn't in naval shipbuilding, it was in um, more of an air sort of project. One of the big factors in choosing BAE, um, especially as a woman, was that I had friends from uni who were already working here and enjoyed it. So I had a couple of friends who were part of the grad program already, kind of knew what I was getting into, knew what to expect. Um, and yeah, there's a really good support system uh, for women in STEM, especially at BAE. We have a lot of um, different programs for that. There's lunch and lean sessions, which is just exclusively for women in the company and there's some kind of equality programs. There's one called Building Blocks as well, which is looking at kind of, I guess, generating more knowledge about kind of equality and, and getting people to learn a little bit more. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That sounds great. Mm. Um, and then, so when you were at university, did you do any sort of work experience or internships? Did you have any experience before you, you jumped into the grad program? Yeah, so I didn't do an internship at BAE, but um, I actually did do an internship in shipbuilding. Um, I was really lucky to do an internship for a French company called Chamont Electric, um, actually in France. So there was a group of ah. us who went, went across to France for about four months and were living and working um, in this like kind of small town in France. Um, so Chamont Electric is a company that does propulsion systems mostly for um, ships and submarines and things. So that was really cool. That was really oh, fun. That's where <laughs> but, the year 12 French would have come in handy. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> awesome. And then, so how did you make yourself stand out during the, the um, selection process for BAE um, graduate program? And what advice would you give to other students, you know, if they would really, really want this? How can they stand out themselves? I think probably the big thing I did was like just a little bit of preparation. So kind of doing a bit of research about the company, um, knowing a bit of info about maybe what projects they're involved in, what capabilities they have. I think that goes a really long way. And even taking a bit of time to maybe just think of a couple of questions that you could ask in your interview that kind of show the research that you've done, show that you're interested, that that goes a really long way. And I think that was probably the main thing that I did. Yeah. I'd also recommend if you're a little bit nervous, like just sit and have a practice of like kind of common interview questions, um, get friends or family to have a look over your resume, cover letter. So I actually had friends who were already in grad programs at BAE and a couple of other companies. I got them to have a look over my resume, give me some advice, that kind of thing. Yeah, definitely preparation is key for sure. Mm -hmm. and, and asking questions and doing that research, that's really... Yeah, cool. it makes a big difference. Yeah. Um, so looking back at the younger version of you <laughs> in high school, what advice would you would you go back and would you give yourself now, knowing what you know? No. So I think my advice to my high school self is probably unconventional and maybe not advice everyone should take but I was very studious in high school and I worked pretty hard and I was kind of quite worried about grades and wanting to do really well. So my advice would actually be to like, just relax a little bit, not stress quite so much about grades. Cause I think as long as you get the grades that you need to get into the degree you're interested in, like aim for that and don't stress too much about the other stuff, you know? You don't need to get perfect start, like perfect marks all the time. <laughs> Do you feel like you get a lot of experience when you're on the job, basically, um, you know, in the real world, mm -hmm. in the program? Do you feel like that's where you get a lot of your learning? It's not just all about being on the books. Yeah, definitely. I think maybe partly because engineering is so varied. You're not really expected to be an expert when you start or to know everything. And it's a very supportive environment if you're not sure about something people will take the time to explain it to you. Nobody expects you to really know what you're doing when you're a grad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And plus, I guess with technology, things are changing so quickly, which is so exciting, like to be involved with that, you know, I guess you just got to go with it when you're in it. Just, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think being able to adapt and learn new skills is something you kind of learn at uni and it, that's like a big thing that you can then apply. Yeah. Mm. For sure. 
Um, so is there anyone who's really inspired you in your role or even more generally just in your life? Yeah, so probably just more generally in my life, my mum has really inspired me a lot. So she's a pharmacist and when I was at school, she was working as I said, a pharmacist in a hospital. Um, and she had kind of always wanted to do a little bit more. And while I was in primary school, like late primary school, early high school, um, she did a PhD, which I just, I look back and I have no idea how she managed to do it while like three kids in school, my dad working full time, like it's so like, amazing. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I think the idea that, you know, she would have been what, in her early forties then. So that it's sort of never too late and that she just wanted to, to pursue it and just went out and did it, I think is, is really inspirational. Yeah, good on her. That's amazing. <laughs> Um, as a mum of three kids myself, um, yeah, I don't know how she did it, but anyway. <laughs> no, <laughs> superwoman. Um, <laughs> so, just finally, uh, to finish off an open-ended question: Is there anything else that you would tell all the students out there who are watching? Um, anything that you think high school sh students should know about a career in uh, at BAE Systems? Probably my main piece of advice would be take a little bit of time to figure out what you're interested in, what you're looking for in a job, and ask as many people as you can what their day-to-day -day job involves. I think that's a really key thing, especially with engineering. I know it's a bit of a running joke that nobody knows what an engineer does, but it's kind of true. Like a lot of people just have no concept of what engineers do on a day-to-day -day basis. And it varies a lot depending on where you're working. So it's good information to have, good to learn, and then probably the other thing is that it's just as useful to know what you're not interested in or what you don't want in a job as what you do want. So they're probably the main bits of advice I give. Take a bit of time, think about it, don't stress too much, and you'll always figure out what you're interested in and, and, and how you want to pursue that. Yeah, exactly. It all works out in the end. That's it does sure. all work out in the end. <laughs> Um, but thank you so much for joining us today. And if students are listening and they'd like to find out more information, Naval Shipbuilding College website is a really great place to start, um, as well as the BAE Systems website. So, yeah, appreciate your time today and good luck with the rest of your career. And next time, make sure you bring that dog. <laughs> I'm sitting next to me next time. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. No problem. Thanks. <laughs>